this is very much easier okay you are having two nodes now you consider it as two nodes x1 and x2 are two nodes which means you have this common one is k1 instead of k what will you write sorry this is a 1 by l at 1 by l side instead of k1 what will you write you will put just 1 by l and no 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 it is just l l1 then you connect r1 instead of f1 uh, r r1 c r2 ana le us than r2 c2 and l2 instead of k2 f2 and m2 and here you have in you will have c1 instead of f1 you will have r1 and instead of capital f you have a current source i that's all easier that is all regarding the force current analog this has also been given in your notes so i am not giving you much time for this this is easier so if at all you get questions on analogous circuits it's very easy only remember whether it is force if it's force current it is parallel circuit if it's force voltage it is uh, from a uh, what series circuit the same thing instead of em instead of em you are given j suppose and uh, theta and all those things and uh, t is given here in t is given same equation may be replaced by j d squared theta by dt squared plus f d theta by dt plus k theta is equal to t that is all the procedure is the same okay hope this is clear for you i'm going to delete now very importantly next section is we are going on to other uh, sections which are also equally important block diagrams please write along with me now if i am have taking a system and i am drawing the transfer uh, block diagram like this with input as x s in the laplace domain and output as y s i get the transfer function inside now whatever limit all of you should listen and take down notes for this what it is a pictorial representation of the this is just a pictorial representation pictorial representation of the uh, functions performed by a system any system any complex system whatever be the system let it be a complex uh, satellite system or a or an aircraft or a reusable launch vehicle or your human body finally it can be represented by a transfer function with in this format so it is a pictorial representation of the functions in a functions performed by a system by a system okay and also about the flow of signals how signals are flowing like you have an input signal coming in you have the output signal going out so a transfer function is essentially a pictorial representation of the functions performed by a system as well as the flow of signals now the problem with um, uh, transfer function is that many dissimilar systems dissimilar systems can have have the same block diagram also same type of block diagram and also same type of whatever i say about block diagrams are equally same for the transfer function also so many dissimilar systems can have the same kind of block diagram which means that the the transfer function gives you that is uh, the second point regarding the transfer function or the block diagram third point that i want to tell you is that the transfer uh, the block diagram and the transfer function gives you the dynamic behavior of the system dynamic how the system behaves with respect to time dynamic behavior is given but physical construction is not known construction not 
uh, given, not uh, known, or not known means an idea, inform not the information is not given. Okay. Fourth thing is that the transfer functions or the block diagrams are not unique, are not unique. What do you mean by unique? It means that the same type of system can have different kinds of block diagram. It can be represented like this, or I combine this and write it as a single block, which means it is not unique. And fifth thing is source in a block diagram is not explicitly shown. Which means I do not know whether it's a voltage as the it is whether the source is a voltage, whether the source is a force, whether the source is a torque, whether the source is a, a push, a pull, or whatever. The source is not shown. Uh, so this is what I want to explain regarding the transfer function. It's a pictorial representation, as you already know. Pictorial representation of what? The functions that is performed by the system, each components in the system, as well as the flow of signals. Second thing is that uh, many dissimilar systems can have the same kind of block diagram, which means I can say that this block diagram can be of a mechanical system. I'll just have 1 by S plus 1, etc. inside. Or it can even be an electrical system or a, or a biological system, which means many dissimilar systems can have this say. Or even if it is an electrical system, it can be the transfer function of a, or the block diagram of a induction motor or maybe it's a block diagram of an amplifier but they may have the same kind of block diagrams the block the block diagram is useful because it provides a dynamic behavior of the system but it doesn't give you a, any idea about the physical construction another thing is that the block diagrams all the transfer functions for that matter are not unique at all this the same system can have different kinds of um, block diagrams and the source in the block diagram is not explicitly shown. These are the things regarding block diagram that I want to tell you. Now these are all except for the pictorial representation these are all equally applicable to or the limitations or the characteristics of the transfer function as well. Okay. Now this portion is very important because you will be going along or you will be remembering by heart even if you don't want to remember also you'll always remember this because i'm going to a very important section which which will be there with you all along your life simple mm, a simple closed loop system now remember closed loop system is the same as feedback system okay now how this is the basic diagram which you will be drawing a number of times in your class you will have a forward element gs you will have a feedback element hs there will be a summer. This is called as a summer. You will have. This is a negative feedback. All of you should just be attentive. This is a negative feedback. So I put a negative sign here. And this is R. Okay. RS. The input signal. And this is CS. I'll give you my, uh, don't draw now. I just want you all to listen. I'll give you time to draw. Now, this is the block diagram of a basic closed loop system where GS is the forward transfer function. HS is a feedback element. RS, if you remember, this is the reference input. RS is the reference input. Hope you remember about reference input. I told you it can be a, motiva a motivating signal which is converted by a reference input is the reference input. Hence, we put it as RS. This is the output, which is CS. OK, now two more signals I want to write is one is BS, which is the feedback signal. And this signal is ES, which is the error signal or actuating signal. 
Okay, now you can draw. You can draw this. Okay, now this point, okay, this point is called as a take off point or a branch point, take off point. And this is known as a summer, summer or a summation point. It is actually here what we are doing is this is not adding but subtracting. Okay, now what I want here is to derive the closed loop transfer function we are going to derive the closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function means the ratio between the output and the input or cs overall output is cs divided by rs this is what i am going to derive okay very important extremely important and you will remember this by heart also not the derivation final now let us go very slowly. What is CS? CS is equal to GS into ES. Is that clear? GS into ES. Because for this block, for this block alone, what is the output of this block? CS. What is the input of this block? ES. So CS by ES would be gs isn't it so i wrote cs is equal to gs into es equation number one is that clear anandu or pillai anandu yes miss clear clear ah, okay then now again es the actuating signal es is actually for uh, obtained by subtracting bs from rs so rs minus bs and es that is what is being done in the summer so es is equal to rs minus bs which is again equal to instead of bs i can write the i can write bs in terms of cs and because hs and the mother in the feedback hs is equal to bs by cs and the if you consider this block alone, the input is CS, CS, and the output is BS. So I can write HS is equal to BS by CS, or this I can write as RS minus, instead of BS, I'll write CS into HS. CS, HS. Equation number two. Okay, now I have these two equations, and then I'll write cs and i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute es with this equation so that i'll get cs is equal to gs into rs minus cs hs now remember to put s always inside the bracket this is cs not s into c okay now, I, what I want is the relation between CS and RS as the transfer function. Now, here I have CS here and RS here. Now, rearranging the terms. I'm not going to do the rearrangement now. Rearranging the terms, what I'll finally get is GS by 1 plus GS HS. This is, the equa this is the equation which I'll rearrange the terms and finally I'll end up with the transfer function. Overall transfer function is CS by RS is equal to GS by 1 plus GSHS. Now, if you, if you just look into this, you'll understand that the overall transfer function CS by RS, now I have written in terms of this block and this block alone. CS by RS is equal to gs by 1 plus gs hs i'll give you one second just to digest this this is very important not the derivation derivation always you can do 
the what i have done is i have written the overall transfer function output um, laplace transfer of the output signal by laplace transfer of the input signal is equal to gs by 1 plus gs hs where gs is the forward element transfer function of the forward element and hs is the transfer function of the feedback element just one second i'll give you just to digest Oh, okay. We have reached the uh, what break break time also. It's okay, but what I want all of you to, I'll stop now. Um, remember, C S by R S is equal to G S divided by one plus G S H S. Now remember. This is the transfer overall transfer function of any feedback system. Now, if the I had put a plus sign here, I got a plus sign here by derivation because it was a negative feedback, and I'll get a minus sign here if it is a positive feedback. What do I, what do you mean by positive feedback and negative feedback? Hope you remember. In the summer, I put a negative here. B S N. Alle. that if it is negative here i get i put a positive here and if it is a positive here positive feedback then i get a negative sign here just remember that that is all for today that is all for today um hope stop presenting hope this is clear to all of you so we shall sign we shall stop for today tomorrow it's very important i i hope all of you are ready with your notebooks as well we are going to do something known as block diagram reduction very important extremely important okay okay thank you bye we'll we'll meet tomorrow